We are now on the pre-show screen. How are you doing tonight, Craig? I'm a little exhausted from work. Oh, didn't you take a nap? I didn't have time. Oh. Oh. It's okay. Okay. Um, tonight's stream won't last too terribly long, I don't think. Um, I have some things that I want to do before we hit the factory, but once we hit the factory, it should be about maybe an hour and a half. Depending. Oh. Really oh, depends. I'm, I'm, I'm good for the stream. Okay, wonderful then. I'm not, like, tired in the sense that I'm going to fall asleep. I'm just exhausted. Ah, I see. Okay. But I have two days off, so... I have hey! Too. Nice. Very good. Yeah. I have my beverage. Your beverage my, of choice. Mm-hmm. Uh, my dad went out and... This music is really loud. My dad went out and uh, bought, like, a gallon jugs of Arizona drinks. And oh, true. he brought back, like, the fruit juice blend. So I have my entire squiggly cup filled with kiwi strawberry. <laughs> went all the way to Arizona just to get you a drink. What a great dad. Yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. I am drinking alcohol. Oh, okay. Wonderful. That's always a good start. Yeah. I'm drinking Shock Top, if you've ever had that. Uh, I've had Shock Top. It's like, bleh. I don't like it. It's definitely not for everybody. I, I like it. It's I Belgian. am not I one really of like those people. <laughs> All right, I'm just going like to stop this music now. Um, I'm going to stop this music now before Twitch has an aneurysm at me. I believe a handful of my favorite beers are all from Belgium. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you're ready to begin, then I am too. So I felt pretty bad looking back at these streams, the previous streams. Why because... I look at the screen and I had the screen like this, right? Where the gameplay is like stretched out. And I realize that a lot of people don't like it when they see a retro game stretched out to 16 by 9. So mm -hmm. I did this for y'all. There you go. There you go. Um, I compressed. Uh, I scrunched the screen down to 4 by 3 for you. So for the final, for the finale of Super Mario RPG, it's going to be in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio as God intended. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Uh, but before we begin... Miyamoto himself did declare. <laughs> um, Miyamoto was more of a figurehead that just sort of oversaw the project. He didn't have direct, direct grabby grabs at it. Anyway, so before we begin tonight, uh, I have prepared I mean, for you that's all... That's just God with the Bible. God didn't have direct. He just kind of overwatched it and told him what to do. Right. Well, before we begin, uh, <laughs> today I have been playing. I have been playing a lot on this file for Super Mario RPG all today, uh, and I've prepared a little sizzle reel of the main big bits that I've done. Mainly, what I did is I went through and I uh, found all the hidden boxes that I could. Unfortunately, because I missed that, I missed that one box at the beginning of the game at the Mushroom Kingdom where you have to jump on the Toad's head in order to get up into the rafters. I can't mm -hmm. get all of them. Thankfully, there isn't a reward for finding all 39 of the hidden boxes in the world. But regardless, mm -hmm. it's still annoying that I have found 38 of them and I don't have the 39th. Uh, thankfully, all the, the friendly Chester in Monstro Town says is he says, wow, you found them all. That's what he Beautiful. says. <laughs> That's what he says. Um. But anyway, I have prepared a little sizzle reel for you all. So, uh, these are the main 
interesting bits that happened when I was traveling across the land. I call it Super Mario RPG catch up. So yeah, here you go. Have a go and go ahead and take a gander at this. So if you go back to Booster's Tower, uh, you will find that uh, Valentina, after you defeat her in the Cloud Kingdom, is at Booster's Tower at the very top. For whatever reason, yeah. I don't know why, um, but apparently Booster said something right and Valentina is now very much interested in being with him. So that may develop later on, who knows? Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on next, and that's if you just go and look at that room, it's just the same thing. If you go to Land's End, there's actually a hidden cave. When that puff of smoke appears, you end up in this weird area. I had no idea that this existed until I looked at the guide where all the hidden boxes are. Apparently, this area hell? exists. It's weird, but here it is. It's in Land's End. And yeah, I'm not going to show... I, I didn't. I did not record me getting all the coins, but they were all in very interesting places that you never guess. Like, for example, right there. I don't know, it's just there. So yeah, yeah. that's interesting. Well, Running the other ones? Uh, there were many, there were many. Um, what's really bizarre about this particular area though is once you jump on that spring after getting into an encounter, you end up back here at the Karo sewers all the way at near the beginning of the game. Oh shit, I fell. Anyway, so yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> if you that box we were trying to figure out how to get to, that has the cricket jam, and you're not supposed to get that until like the very end of the game. Uh, we will see what happens with that later on, because right now, uh, and, and as you can see, if you go down that pipe, you end up at <laughs> you end up at the Midas Falls. So yeah, they send you all the way back to the very beginning. It's weird. So oh, once fun. you Oh, after that, I went to the I went to the frog pond, right? I went back to the tadpole pond, and it turns out that there are two more pieces of the Todovsky composition that you're supposed to find, and I found one of them to be the Mole Blues, uh, which you're supposed to find in Mole Town. I messed it up there, so I went back and I redid it, and that's the correct thing, and that's exactly what I was looking for. And then the next one is that little pink star in Monster Town is dancing to a particular song. This tadpole remembers part of it, but you're supposed to go to Monster Town to figure it out. And this is what it is right here. And after this, Todovsky absolutely goes ballistic. <laughs> and yeah, there you go. Um, you have completed the composition, but he confesses that we've contributed too much. So, he wants us to write the final phase, and this is what I came up with for the ending. So, it's, um, if I will hit it, there we are, that note, that note, that note, that note. Well, you just get to create whatever you want. Yep, you get to create whatever you want, and then it, it, it synthesizes it on the fly. It's a really special little part of Super Mario RPG, which is, uh, it's a part of the game that I'm glad that Yoko Shimomura pushed for. Um, it's very nice. So yeah, this is what I came up with to wrap up the Todovsky song. I actually cut out like a good 30 seconds of me trying to figure out what I do on to write. And now they'll play it for us. pretty neat mm -hmm. it's very interesting uh I and my first was just looking up at this guy he's like oh i am a genius <laughs> yep once you're done with that uh you get the soprano card which will allow you to buy caro caro colas at the shop in t um Taupo pond which is really really helpful especially in late game and that's pretty much that oh no it didn't play the rest of it Ah uh, no! There was an entire other two minutes of that video, and it stopped. Oh, I'm upset. Okay. Well, I guess I'm it's just gonna okay. have to tell you now instead of showing you. Darn it! I edited that together too. Oh well. 
So what happened after that is after you beat the Czar Dragon and the Red the Axum Rangers in Barrel Mountain, uh one of the moles in Moleville, uh one of the, the toad that is behind the counter, hidden behind the counter, and Moleville will sell you a piece of metal. And that turns out to be Peach's ultimate weapon, the frying pan. So I went and picked that up. And if you take the cricket jam, which you find in the Caro sewers. If you take that to Tadpole Pond, uh, Frog Fucius, uh, Mallow's surrogate grandpa, will give you 10 frog coins. So yeah, that's pretty much what happens. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have to say about that. We are in endgame now. We are right at the end of the game, and I have to fiddle around with a cartridge right, now because... Go back to the beginning and reset the file. No. Oh, okay. We're at endgame, we have things to do, we have places to be. And that's pretty much that. Ugh. Right, yeah, so, thank you for knees. letting me go on my little tie right there, everyone. How are you doing, chat? How's everything going? Is everything well? I hope everything is well. I hope... Uh, you want to try that again? My internet decided to say no to you. Oh, I just said I hope chat died. Oh, okay. That was all I good said friends I hope you got thrown down a well. <laughs> mm, okay. That was all good friends wish. Yeah. yeah. Frost, why do you oo and sad? Please do not oo and sad. Because if you don't oo and sad, he'll oo and mad. Oh, shit. Okay, so, Craig, I have a question mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. If I were to go complete the game now, technically the game would not be complete. Uh, not because we didn't find that one frog coin. Um, we didn't get all the hidden boxes or anything. Like, no, it's none of that. There are two optional fights that I can do in Monster Town. Should I do them? One of them is to fight the Grandmaster Jinx, who is a martial artist, and he gives you some shit. I don't fucking know. Um, but he's a tough fight. And then the other one is Culex, who is, of course, the Final Fantasy reference we attempted a couple sessions ago. Me, personally, I probably wouldn't go after secret bosses in a Super Nintendo RPG because secret bosses tend to be like, hey, you know how you have to beat the game at this level? Um, double that, and that's how you beat the uh, extra bosses. Well, so that's usually... Uh, the level cap is 30, so... Oh. What level are you? Uh, 25. Well, how long do you think it would take to actually beat the boss? Not much. If you could just do it, then do All it. Right. But like, if, All right, we're gonna fight gonna Jinx, then. Your ass off or something, then no, that's what I it. did today. Uh, I was tw level 21, and I ground up to 25 in the time that I had. Ground up? <laughs> I ground up all this beef. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what I did. Alright, so when you enter the dojo, uh, there is a... Uh, there's this uh, Jagger here. That's his name. His name is Jagger. Uh, he, uh, he offers us a challenge because the Grandmaster isn't here, so we are going to go ahead and fight him then. Craig, make commentary. It's Mick Jagger. And he's going to stab you with a dagger. So after a certain amount of damage or one turn, um, he says, yikes, hey, you're too powerful for me. You're a top notch fighter. And then he says, please don't hit me ever again or else I'll cry. Mm -hmm. And that little thing right there, you. that is the Grandmaster. What the? F hey, he's, he's tiny. Like a little f he's a cricket. That's Jinx. He is a cricket. Oh shit, he just teleported behind you. Yeah, nothing personal, kid. Yo, dude. You're fucked. Yeah, he's, not, he's not that bad. He's gonna fucking copy pasta you. <laughs> Maybe. So anyway, this is Jinx. Free damage, uh, what the fuck? Uh, it's- he's very deceptive. Um, somehow I guarded against that. He's a very- he's very deceptive. And one thing that is uh, troublesome about Jinx is he has a high evasion stat, so a lot of attacks may miss. Like that. Mm. And also, that frying pan uh -oh. that I tried to do earlier. 
Valor up. Yeah. And Ooh. the reason yeah, why doing, like, the reason why now. the reason why this fight is so hard is because he has those stat buffs. Mm, yeah. Mm. You're doing a And lot it's where we're done. Him, it's what? And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's go for it again. How about how about we do that? He missed. Amazing. Okay, if I remember correctly, this is when he gets tough. Yeah, I there we go. Tele teleports behind you. Yep. This is when he gets tough. This is the second time you challenge him. Because he starts doing Jacob, triple when kick. Was the first and it time you played this game. The first time I played this game was about six years ago, I think. It was around... It was around 2011. So, eight. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been how a while. How old are you then? 23. I said, how old are you then? So, 15. Um, I was about the same age when I played the game. I was about 14, 15. Okay. Um... Because, like I said, I wanted to play it before, but I never got past a certain point in the game because I tried to play it on my laptop and it didn't work out. Um, but my sister's boyfriend at the time had a copy and I had a Super Nintendo, so he let me borrow his copy and I finally got to play it and beat it. And I fucking loved it. Okay, so now we are in the part that's really gonna count. This is no j goofs or gaffs or japes. This is the actual tough fight. This is when he unleashes his full power. Is when you take you him know, on I, the I, third time. I actually just realized that we have completely different commentary styles. You like to um, share a lot of information and uh, express your opinions on like the game you're playing, and I usually try to like uh, either react to the game or just talk about other things. Oh, I'm well, I mean, set. we could we could talk about other things. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm just fighting Jinx. It's nothing too interesting. It's just that this is the part where he starts to hurt. Like oh, for example, he out. just fucking killed Mario. So yeah, that's fun. Teleported behind Mario and fucking ripped his heart out. Yeah, to his it's asshole. Fine. It's fine. I have come back. He's like, oh my wa, my shin did you? Mommy. Mamma mia. Mamma, holy shit. Holy shit, he take my dick. <laughs> nice. Um, but no, uh. Oh, what was it that I was thinking about earlier today? <laughs> thinking about them beans. I'm always thinking about beans, but you know. No, not beans. Um, them beans. Oh, uh, shit. Valorums. Ah, nice. I was flicking them off the table. I was like, get out of here, you fucking beans. I just realized um, that the chat box is in permanent mode. Hold on. I need to stop that. Okay. There we are. Sorry, carry on. So, um, hmm. I'm trying to remember what it was I was thinking about earlier. But shit. fuck it. Oh fuck. Um. Hmm. Shit. Oh shit. So you, so you said your first experience was actually what on GameCube? Of uh, Mario RPG? No, it was always the same. No, no. I said Sonic. Oh, of Sonic? Uh, yeah, with Sonic Heroes on the PlayStation 2. Oh, PlayStation. Mm. Yeah, so you probably didn't watch the cartoons or anything up until that point either, right? Um, I was familiar with Sonic X, um, but no, I did not watch it all that much. Sonic X. I was talking about the good cartoon. Oh, the other cartoons? No, I was... <laughs> I did not. I was not introduced um, to the adventure of Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic Sat AM. I wasn't introduced to those until 
god. Probably around six years ago. Sad AM, what the fuck? The Saturday AM cartoon. It's it's the name that it's the nickname that fans give the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon with the scary robotnik. Um because it's just called Sonic the Hedgehog. But they wanted to differentiate the show, so they call it Sad AM because it aired on Saturday AM. Okay. There's, yeah, I don't there is clear I logic. Watch this. Um, the characters look like they're straight from the comics, though. Yeah. Well, th they were the the comics. Ah, huh? the comics adopted them. Absolutely heavily adopted. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not the other way around. No, I never watched this cartoon right here. Oh, um, it's really good. I, it's actually really good. It's such a damn shame that they dropped the show. It's actually really good. Someone took a picture. Mm hmm. Uh, and edited it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, it, it, and There's Jinx a picture of whoever the fuck that girl is kissing Sonic, but they edited it to be Amy Sally kissing Acorn? Sonic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who the fuck actually likes Amy? Fuck you, I like Amy! Amy Rose is boring. You're boring! Okay, from what fucking um, installment do you actually care about Amy? Sonic Adventure! What? Okay. Why? Cuz I like her. Jesus. Sorry. She's so boring though. You're boring though. Amy Rose is so fucking boring. It's like what what's your character? I like Sonic. Shut the fuck up. That was every <laughs> that was every single character in that. Come on. No. Knuckles was the idiot. Tails was the brainless child. Sonic is the, yeah, Jilly Dog, gotta go fast, sort of shit. Amy was the stereotypical girl. Um, Gamma was just a fucking robot, and Big was big, okay? That's it. <laughs> I, you want interesting characters chunky. out of Sonic Adventure? Good freaking luck. I mean, <laughs> Robotnik was pretty interesting. Eggman is yeah, not interesting. He had that whole thing where Shadow pissed on his wife. That was Adventure 2. That's true. You're right. Listen, okay, I like <laughs> the whole sure Obama, I like though. the whole bird protection thing, alright? It was really charming. Bird protection thing? Yeah, um the robot uh the robot named Zero is constantly chasing out their Amy throughout her stages because she has uh, a baby bird with her that um, is carrying the Chaos Emerald secretly. So, yeah. Frost Have you... says Big the Cat is best character. You're correct. Except his playstyle is really shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fucking... Nobody ever wanted to play as him. Fishing? Fishing? Who asked for that? I mean, I get you it. I mean, I get it. Big Bass, big bass Fishing is really... Fishing in I mean, Pat loves fishing in video games, but does Pat even care about fucking Big the Cat's fishing adventures? I don't fucking know. All right, so we're going to go back to the Final Fantasy. Uh, we're going to fight Kulex, so we're probably going to die, Look. but we're going to try it again. Will you enter combat with me? Yes, on guard. <laughs> does he actually say on guard? Yes, he does. I am matter. I am anti-matter. I can see your passion. Oh shit, he literally says it in future. fucking French. I consume what time and I consume you. There we are. I mean, I guess it's correct to say on guard because, I mean, you can say on your guard, but yeah. <laughs> All right, kill the green one first, I think it was. The green one? Okay. Well, I hit them all, so there we are. Yeah. I don't remember exactly what you're supposed to do. So first and foremost, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a red essence. Now what the red essence does, I've collected many of them. They prevent the enemy from attacking that particular character. Oh. Well, at least it doesn't do any damage to them. So the red essence is really good. 
Oh, that's even more busted. If it just made them not attack you, then that would be like a double-edged sword because it's like, sure, you don't take any damage, but you also it's increase only for the three turns though characters. um don't look at the mario yeah. icon by the way um you will die oh i hit q what like i didn't mean to do fuck? that yeah sorry about that that's just that's the way it goes red essence on gino peach can fend for herself because she has the super shell that's fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> what, what were they thinking with that stupid ass thing? <laughs> it's know. flashing so fast. I know, it kind of hurts me, honestly. Hmm. <laughs> we want kids to have as many seizures as possible. Between Mario RPG and, and the Pokemon anime, <laughs> these kids will never be alive. <laughs> they will never be alive! Again. That's exactly what that means. We'll never be alive again because they'll die of seizures. Mm -hmm. Dude, yeah. I'm trying to get my art tablet to move so that I can try to draw while I'm watching you. Mm -hmm. But it's being complicated. Oh it's shit! Like stuck on Gino something. isn't protected anymore. What the fuck? Gino, why aren't you protected? Can I, Gino, whirl the crystals? I don't think I can. I doubt it. That would be too easy. Yeah. And this fight is for easy. Yes, that's, ex kids. that's exactly what I meant. Ow. I don't know why I say Al when things aren't hurting me, but rather I'm just making mistakes. That's it. That's okay, me. so the entire so everyone is vulnerable now. Uh, how many red essences do I have? Okay. Where's this? Okay, I'm going to put the red essence on Gino right now. Oh shit. I might sound weird for a second. I'm going around the other side of my desk. It's fine. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a... Put the red I essence on Mario. And I got a freebie. Heck yeah. Oh, and just That's in awesome. time because I just got dark starred. And it missed because red essence! Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck you, Kill X! <laughs> what a fucking nerd. That being said, I'm probably gonna lose this anyway. Oh, green crystal's down! Uh, green crystal is yeah. down. Green crystal it's got is the down. Health, I think. Well, regardless, that makes me excited. Green crystal is down. <laughs> Down for what? Down for the big sex. Yeah, that's totally what I meant. Cool, dude. It's hot. I would totally kiss the green crystal. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't. Because my mom says I have to go home. Yep, that's exactly what that means. Oh, I hit Kulex. Why did I do that? Now he's gonna hit me with Meteor Blast, because I in oh. Red Essence! <laughs> I love it! I love it so much. Jacob? Yeah. What would you like me to draw? I would like for you to draw me a bath. Okay. I'm just gonna draw a bathtub. How do I fucking draw a bathtub? One sec. Oh. I gotta think about this now. I'm gonna draw the one that has the little feet. 
Have you actually ever seen one of those in real life? Because I haven't. What? The bathtub that have, like, feet? <laughs> no, I can't say I have. Would you take a bath in a bathtub with feet? What if they were just, like, human feet? Like, really realistic looking? <laughs> like the Nightmare Before Christmas tub? Yeah, but like with really realistic looking feet. I'd be scared. I'd be erect. Of course you would. In fear. Wow. This... Looks fucking stupid. I'm never drawing that again. I'm gonna draw you, Jacob, while I'm looking at your big mug. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna. There. And then there. Like that. I can't see your ear, so I'm just gonna have to pretend. They're all the same fucking ear. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna no use matter. Princess Peach's psych bomb because I'm feeling ultra ballsy today. Also, you got those essence. ultra balls, bro. Yeah. All right, how do I draw your fucking beard? There we go. That was pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna have to be a little bit nervous about how I operate this fight now. Cause now nah, you're doing Corona. No. Oh. What's wrong, Jacob? You don't like Corona? Ah, uh, it hurts Gino like a motherfucker. Yeah, Gino's down. Damn it. Corona's not that good a beer. I can't believe they put beer in a children's game. It's fucked up. Yeah, Nintendo. The fuck? I'm gonna call your mom. I'm gonna call Mama Moto. <laughs> Mama Moto. Mama Moto. Mama Moto. Amazing. Yeah, Mama Moto. You don't like Mama Moto? No, well, Mama Moto's fine. You think she's fine? Oh, fuck yeah. Blue Crystal's down. I think this is the farthest I've ever gone in this fight. Yeah, because you're a nerd. And you're All right, dumb. Gino, come back. Oh, no, I missed the timing. Jacob. Shit. Stay still. I gotta get your mustache just right. Alright. Looks like a big pile of poop, which means I did it just right. Do I risk Geno Flash? Yes, I risk Geno Flash. <laughs> Just for fun, I gave you one tooth, and it's really <laughs> funny looking. <laughs> I like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna All use right. one of my Caro Caro Colas. Fuck yeah. I'm oh boy, that's Flame you. Wall. Mmm, boy. I'm just gonna give you that generic tongue. Oh. Cartoon tongue. I'm not gonna draw your glasses. <laughs> it looks like a monocle because I only drew one so far. <laughs> nice. You're like, I would wear a monocle. Shit, Meteor Blast, please don't. Oh, that wasn't that bad. You, you would wear a monocle, wouldn't you, Jacob? Hell no. What? Why not? Because no. It's stupid. Because yeah, I'm not gay. <laughs> oh, that's because I need to see out of both eyes. These are prescription glasses. Just wear a monocle over your glasses, eh? Wear two monocles. 
wear two monocles. Yeah. Holy shit, dude! You're thinking with both brains. <laughs> what? 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 This actually looks pretty fucking accurate. I'm really proud of myself. For my ability to draw your face. Hey, I got 17 jumps that time. Fucking Kulex just did physical damage to Gino and it hurt. <laughs> Holy shit. You're right. <laughs> do, do that again, you cheeky fuck. Jacob, you look fantastic in this picture, bro. Thank you. You're gonna see it and you're gonna be like, that looks just like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Which means it looks just like me. <laughs> I need to draw your hat. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a... Oh man, what the fuck is it called? Like, the little Jewish hat? <laughs> a yarmulke? Yeah, it looks like you're wearing a yarmulke. It looks... It looks surprisingly... Um, relevant. <laughs> Given the way I've drawn you, like, it doesn't look out of place. Alright, cool. Um, I, I, well, I took it off because you're not Jewish and <laughs> you can't have a yarmulke. Okay. Let's get a strip. You're not of, allowed. You're gonna strip me of my yarmulke. That's fine. <laughs> I'll put a yamchuka on your head. It's just yamchuka. <laughs> tiny, <laughs> tiny drawing of yamcha. Uh, yeah, it, it's yamcha. Just red rolled crystals up in a ball down on your head. Red like crystals you down. Here, wait. YELLOW CRYSTALS DOWN! OH MY GOD! Bro, you're gonna fucking win this fight and everyone's gonna fucking scream and everybody's gonna cream and everybody's gonna dream This is the finest I've ever got against Kulex! You sound really excited about it I am! <laughs> it's good Hmm <laughs> All right. Wait. Now I gotta put your name on here. J. Peg. <laughs> I like how that's still my name. <laughs> yeah, my name's J. Peg. <laughs> no one names themselves. That's true. That's why I eventually had to just give in and go with the nickname that people gave me when I was a kid. Because it fit the best. Fatty fatty 2 by 4 No! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back such harsh memories. No, uh... No, Korean Yes! Is Kulex is done! <laughs> I wish I had I've a story never to done tell that you. before. <laughs> you killed Kulex. And it's playing the Final Fantasy Victory theme. That's beautiful, actually. Yes, I can't believe it. I've never done that before. <laughs> oh my Wait, god. Guess... Of the eight years I've been playing this game, I have never done that before, and I did it. Oh, that feels good. Um, yeah, <laughs> that feels real good. Well, for that, I'm gonna finish my glass of wine. <laughs> finish my glass of wine too. Here you go. Wonderful. All right, I'll take a big swig of my beer to join you. Mario has reached level twenty-six. <laughs> 
That's me drinking beer. Mm -hmm. Mallow <laughs> has also reached 26. Um, I wish I had a way. I'm going to share it on uh, Discord. <laughs> They're playing Prelude from Final Fantasy. Fuck, that was awesome. Ah, your spirit is strong. Thank you, brave knight. I will treasure this memento of my journey here. Perhaps another time, another game. <laughs> we may have been mortal enemies. <laughs> Let us part another as comrades game. in arms. Take this. Treasure it as a keepsake of our fight. Received the quartz charm. This is badass on Gino. Farewell, champion knight. And that's it. He just sort of fucks off. And the door is completely gone. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> I have never beaten Q-Likes before. Fuck. I feel so good. <laughs> Jacob. Yeah? I need to find a way to show you this picture. Mm hmm Because it's beautiful. Oh wait, I can actually get a link to it. Copy? Posteroni. And then into there you go. Now it's in your chat. I drew you. Oh, okay. Now hold on a second. The quartz charm isn't it's actually bringing Gino down. Hold on. <laughs> One minute, everybody. Super Mario RPG Quartz Charm. What the fuck does it do? Must have a hidden ability or something. Yeah, it's hidden. Let's see. Grants automatic attack and defense up statuses. It cuts damage received, both physical and magical, in half, and multiplies damage dealt by 1.5. That's a really good. Okay, never mind. Yep. I can see why they put it on Gino. Oh! <laughs> that reminds me the way I just said that. Uh, so I went to someone's house today on a delivery. And as I pulled up, like they had all these um, Bible quotes, like all over their house and like yard signs and stuff like that. And I was like, OK, whatever. Um, I'm just going to deliver these people their pizza. So I knock on the door and I hear yelling across the house. Who is it? And I'm just like, uh, the pizza. <laughs> and they're like, one second. And then I'm sitting there and I'm just looking around, like kind of reading everything. And I look down at the doormat. You know what the fucking doormat said? What? Be a good. Be a good. Be one singular good, everybody. <laughs> be a good. Yeah. It just said be a good. And then I don't know what the context was because I couldn't really hear them talking until they opened the door. But all of a sudden the lady opens the door and she's just like black people. And then she turns to me. And she's like, how much was it? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All I heard her say was black people when she opened the door and then she's like, how much was it? <laughs> I'm just like, uh... <laughs> and then I tell her the price and then I just move on. Okay. Like, I'm not gonna ask her what the fucking context was, but holy shit, what the fuck was she talking about? I don't think you're gonna be able to get context. <laughs> black people? Hmm. <laughs> Yes. How much was it? interesting? <laughs> mm, yes. So. Mm, yes. The black people are black people. Hmm. <laughs> the floor here is made out of floor. <laughs> wow. Is this real floor? Is this real genuine wall? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me there's a ceiling. Looks up. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. So. No more fucking around. We are at the end game. We are now in the factory. So yeah. This should go by fairly quickly, honestly. I mean, if we if if I was able to take down Culex so easily, I think I'm going to be fine, honestly. I think this is going to go very well. Oh, is <laughs> 
if I uh, don't stop falling off. John oh, Mario. Oh, hold on. I didn't get. I didn't see the uh, image that you sent. <laughs> it's so accurate, right? Hold on. <laughs> you can put it on screen. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. That's good. No, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That's a really good image. Yeah. That's I'll, you. I'll treasure it always. <laughs> That's you mindlessly playing video games. <laughs> yep. You even got the the. You even got the mouth hanging open like a blithering idiot. Shockingly yeah. accurate. Yeah, I Shit. just thought... I just thought, what would Jacob look like if he was a complete idiot? And then I was like, I'll just look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, what are those booger monsters, dude? Uh, they're stupid. I don't like them. Hmm. Echo Finder. I will find your booger and add it to my body. <laughs> what if that's what they did? They just reach inside your nose and they extract your boogers and they just suck them up into their body and they oh get Oh god, they're coated in them. You're disgusting. Yeah. What did you think I meant? I don't fucking know. What if he just like climbed up your nose and overtook your body through your boogers? You just had boogers running through your veins, controlling your body. I don't know. Jacob. We're not at the beach. This is a bathtub. Jacob. Yeah. I got a scenario for you. Uh-huh. What? You're walking down the road. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's a nice sunny afternoon. Yeah. Um, and you see this old man and he's sitting on a bench and, you know, he seems to be enjoying the day quite a bit. But as you walk by, he says, young man, would you come here for a moment? And, you know, you're thinking, oh, this is an innocent old man. Maybe maybe he just needs to ask me what time it is or something. So you walk over and you're like, what is it, sir? And he says, would you perhaps give me a booger? <laughs> what do you do? I give him my finest nugget on the spot. <laughs> You're just like, one moment, sir. <laughs> Take out your finest <laughs> pinky. I, <laughs> I'm sorry if it's a bit liquidous. <laughs> you just reach all the way to the back of the nostril, scrape out a good old big one, and then you and then you get down on one knee and you present it to him with your head down. And you're like, so <laughs> like a night beat. For the like someone being knighted by the king. <laughs> yeah, but with a booger. <laughs> you're, you're handing him your finest booger as an offering. God, you're stupid. <laughs> it's amazing. And then his wife comes up and she says, Oh, husband of mine, you used to like my boogers. But now you ask young men for their boogers? And then she pulls out her sword. <laughs> Challenges me to a duel? Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I would turn to her. Into a booger sword. I would turn to her and say, clearly you are not a knight. Because for the way a knight challenges another is to throw down their own gauntlet. No, seriously, like, that's how they did. Look it up. And, and then you look down, and there's a, just a stack of gauntlets. <laughs> the floor is made out of gauntlets. The very yeah. pavement has been uprooted to, to reveal a thousand gauntlets. Shit, I fell. <laughs> it's really good. These are really good hypotheticals you come yeah. up with. Listen, and you when you look down at the booger you were presenting to the man, it, it, it turned into a sword itself. So now you have a big old booger sword. <laughs> the booger to fight sword. With. Yeah. Yeah. And you think, well, this wouldn't be good, you know, like a, a booger, you know, like it would just get sliced by another booger. So you, you give it a good tap and it dings like a metal wood. Like a metal wood? 
something like a metal wood. Yep. Yeah. It's like that elvish wood shit. <laughs> yeah. Strong as metal. But as light as air. <laughs> if you look really closely, in there is a nose hair. <laughs> Dude, I was watching an anime <laughs> on the other night called uh, Baki, I think. It's a really stupid anime, but I'm pretty sure the fights are going to be cool. So I'm giving it a chance. Like the, the premise is dumb. The characters are dumb. The writing is dumb, but I'm hoping the fighting is going to be really good. So that's the only reason I'm watching it. But anyways, this guy goes up. And he starts challenging this dude at a dojo and the dude starts fighting him and like he he's sitting there picking his nose and he pulls out one of his nose hairs and like flings it so hard at the dude that the nose hair just sticks in his eyebrow. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> it fucking impaled him with his nose hair. His booger strong ass nose. nose hair. Yeah, dude. This anime is something else. And another guy, he fucking blows in a dude's ear, and his brains squirt out the other ear like spaghetti. The fuck show are you watching? I told you, it's a really stupid show, but I think the fights are going to be good, so I'm watching it. Like, he blows on the dude's ear and his brain comes out like spaghetti sauce. Incredible. Yeah. It's like those pasta machines where you twist it and the pasta comes out. It's just <laughs> oh my like that. God. Yeah, but a brain. If you could do that, would you? You're just blowing someone's ear and their brain comes popping out? No, I can't say I would. What if they were trying to steal your stuff from your house? I don't know. What if they broke in and they were like, I'm here to steal your amiibo collection. Would you blow in their ear? Yes. In that case, like, I would. You'd be like, haha, but little did you know that you are going to have spaghetti brain. <laughs> spaghetti brain. Okay, so I have something to admit. I've actually I have actually gone a little bit into this area. So this button I've already pressed it. So yeah. Yeah. Jacob! Sorry. The reason why is because there's one of the hidden boxes, the supposedly last hidden box. Uh, is uh, right next to the second checkpoint, which is right here. See, you know what, Jacob? I already got it. That's, that's but it. Oh well. That's that's the last straw. Listen. That's it. Listen. I'm calling, listen, I'm calling Coco listen, Bandicoot listen. to hack your computer and steal all your lizard porn. Bid? What the fuck? <laughs> There's none of that. Ooh, Anymore, an ultra hammer. Because Coco fucking stole it all, bitch. Shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. You thought? <laughs> right. So the Ultra Hammer that we just got, it says the ultimate mm -hmm. hammer. This would be Mario's ultimate weapon if we didn't already get it. The ultimate weapon being the lazy shell. So if you miss the lazy shell, that's the, the Ultra Hammer, ultimate hammer. That's the best you got to work with. Can't you technically give the lazy shell to someone else anyways? No, it's Mario's oh. weapon. Oh. Only Mario can use it. Ah, shit, I clicked through the thing. What does Bowser get? Uh, Bowser gets the spiked claws. Uh, which allows him to punch things. Except more forcefully. <laughs> Riveting, I know. <laughs> He's already got claws, what the fuck? Well, they're claws to electric boogaloo. Oh, shit. Um, okay, so alarm clock. Right, so this is an annoying as fuck fight. I remember this. Oh god, I remember this. 
So, this fight. Uh, fucking hell. There are three targets to hit. You can be put to sleep by these things. It's really fucking annoying. And the clock hands dictate the kind of attack that they do. Yeah. So... I... <laughs> I guess in Luigi's Mansion, if you spam one of the buttons, you can make it legitimately look like Luigi's jerking off. Oh yeah, um, humping the chests, yeah. No, no, not that. It's like a hand motion. He shakes his hand, and if you do it at just the right, um, pace, He'll shake his hand right next to, like, his crotch. So it looks like he's jerking off. Fucking incredible. Yeah. You go, Spaghetti Man. You go. <laughs> Fucking Spaghetti Brain. Oh boy! Scrobell! Yay! Just what I wanted. Frost is right, though. Skeddy? Yeah, I know. No. Hmm? That you have backup of your porn on Twitter. <laughs> Listen, I like the things that I like. You're just gonna have to deal with it or unfollow me. <laughs> what about both? I'll just deal with it and unfollow you. Oh, okay. That's fine. <gasps> Are you okay? This is amazing. What? Someone, someone made a mod of uh, Sonic Adventure where you could play the whole game as Big the Cat. Oh fuck! You could technically do it as any character, but you couldn't do it as Big the Cat, and that's what's important. That's true. That is indeed very important. <laughs> yeah, I want to see Big the Cat roll around at the speed of sound. That place is to go. Sure. <laughs> no, um. Oh, yeah, got Aurora so Flash. We got to figure out when we want to do it, and we haven't really made any announcement for Craig, it. Craig, you're so, so forward, guess, Jesus! At least wine and dine me first. I guess Frost is going to be the first one to hear about this, but um. We, me, Jacob, and Pat were talking about setting aside a day where we all just get together and record a fuckload of gameplay for um, Let's Plays on YouTube. Yep. And essentially, it's going to be games that we would probably never be able to stream just because, well, I mean, you could technically stream them, but like, I wouldn't stream them on my account because nobody watches them on Twitch, but anybody will watch anything on YouTube eventually, at least, <laughs> so. Alright, the clock's done. Not nearly as annoying as I remember it being. But anyway, there we go. That was a clock. That was a boss. And it spawns a save block right next to it, so that's nice. Nintendo fans are so fucking biased. What do you mean? Like, uh, somebody f shared a thing from the new Fire Emblems game, and they were like, look at how beautiful this game is, and it's like... <laughs> it is so subpar. Like, the models are okay, but the animations aren't that great. Um... The, the landscapes could use some work and I'm not trying to talk trash about the game it's just like it, it's nothing in comparison to the many 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 games you could be bragging about <laughs> that it's not one of them like that is not a screenshot game oh boy pedal blast uh, honestly with a lot of Nintendo fans just they take what they can get, 
Honestly, because Nintendo operates on limited hardware, they always have. So... I just I ignore the noise. Oh boy, elegy. <laughs> Elegy. Elegy. What? Elegy. Elegy. Sorry. Um. Did you already read this way, Frost? I wish Says... I had friends to do that with. LMAO. But yeah, that sounds cool. Any ideas of what style of editing you'll do? Forty plus minutes stuff or like fifteen minutes stuff? Um. With the way YouTube's been going, it'll probably be between like uh twenty and thirty minutes. Yeah. Um, that's the standard for YouTube now. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be like Netflix episodes, <laughs> essentially. Yeah. Um, as far as like other than just timing, uh, I would say editing style. It depends on who edits it. Ultimately, because I'm pretty sure we're all going to have different types of editing styles, but we'll have to discuss it and come to a conclusion as to what type of editing we all see fit. Um, that way, if like Jacob edits a couple of episodes for one playthrough and then I edit some other episodes for another playthrough, it doesn't seem completely different. There's got to be some cohesion between the two, even though we're both going to be probably editing things. Mm -hmm. I figure if we're doing so many games, we'll probably what I'm thinking is, is every once in a while, we'll try to get together and just do a fuckload of recording. Um, that way we can have a handful of games um, backlogged and then we'll just upload like one or two games at a time. Um, and like maybe portion it off like oh jacob you edit this game and i'll edit this game that way they're both being edited at the same time but uh i really like the way oni plays does their editing because it's very straightforward there's no bullshit involved there's not like some really long intro or unnecessary um cutoffs to unnecessary like content uh, it doesn't feel like you're watching a TV show. It just feels like you're kind of watching people hang out. And that's the vibe I personally like to go for. <laughs> but I'm not the only person making the content. So I'm not the end all be all of what happens. Shit. Oh, again. <sighs> what kind of content do you usually prefer when it comes to let's plays do you like the more structured stuff or do you like the way oni plays just kind of lets anything happen really depends i do i like either way um a lot of the content that i watched back in the day was all the structured content like your chugga conroys and whatnot the fuck but is the that? chugga conroy um he's a really fantastic let's player who is doesn't get enough like he, he he gets attention but not nearly as much as he deserves he deserves way more subscribers anyway, he's a great he's most, a great let's player for the most part i know i used to watch markiplier a little bit when he was smaller mm -hmm. um i don't really enjoy his content anymore uh I've seen a little bit of Jacksepticeye, but he feels like he's way too fucking loud and over the top for me. Um, and I watched a lot of Game Grumps for a while, but I don't enjoy Aaron Hansen anymore. Uh, honestly, I like I, honestly, I've never really enjoyed Aaron. I've always been there for either John or Dan. Yeah, I. but I never bothered me before it's just now that i'm so aware like now that i've watched enough to catch on to what his sense of humor is it sticks out to me now and it's just not my style of humor so it, it just sticks out way too much and dan was never exactly like hilarious he was more like endearing and after a while like i don't want to watch just watch something just because someone's endearing like 
if I want to watch someone who's endearing, I can still watch Oni plays anytime Julian's on there. Like Julian's a very endearing guy. He's funny. He's not as funny as Ding Dong um, Oni, but he's very endearing. So it's like a nice little combo. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the end of the day, Oni's funny enough for me to watch him regardless of who he's doing a let's play with. I will say that uh, anything with Ding Dong or Zach is going to be immediately better, though. God, Zach, Jesus fucking Christ! Zach's what a legend! So fucking what funny. a legend! I love He's his style god, of humor so dude. much. Oh my god! Like, I've been listening to the um, podcast that they do lately, Sleepy Cast, and yes, oh, and uh, the very positive stream. What? The very positive stream. I don't know what that is. Oh, um, it's it's just uh, live streams that Zach's been doing, where he draws oh. shit. Yeah. I guess I'll have to look into that. No, but um, no, but like listening to the podcast and listening to the Zach like fucking tell stories. It's just really funny, like hearing how he fucks with people in real life. Yeah. Oh my like, god, the got, fucking out crazing the pizza guy. Jesus Christ, yes, that fucking that story good. destroys me. Oh I my god. Pizza! And, I love pizza, give me pizza! And the fucking <laughs> the the fucking sponge factory story. <laughs> that wasn't oh, Zach. That, one yet. that wasn't Zach. That was someone else, but holy shit, the sponge factory story from Sleepy Cast is amazing. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Um, there's a lot of sleepy cast to catch up on. Mm -hmm. So, so what's interesting about the weapons factory is, um, remember Mac from the very mm -hmm. beginning of the game, Mac the knife? Yeah. Um, there's a whole production line of him. So mm -hmm. all of the enemies, all the enemies we've been fighting are all weapons that have been mass produced. Anyway, carry on. It's kind of weird how his model is so big that they couldn't show more than one on screen at a given time. So they had to keep like uh, removing it and then putting it back on. Yeah. Interesting. No, but um. Holy shit. I can't believe I managed yeah, to this, do that in one go. The sleepy cast is actually what made me think about being a little more laid back with our podcast because I was like, this is. This is actually really fucking enjoyable to listen to. Just listening to people share their experiences and stuff like that. Um, and plus, it uh, just works better Bowyer. for us. Yeah. And now we're fighting Bowyer. Remember him? Yeah, he yeah, exists. Yeah. It's that point in the game where you're so strong that fighting old bosses is like just fighting an enemy. <laughs> yeah. Well, these these uh, versions are also significantly weaker than they used to be. Mm. They're in, they're in production. They're not finished with production, so they're weaker. Hence sense. why they don't have their paint jobs. I still have only well, watched like ten minutes a of paint one. job. You know what I'm saying? Ah, <laughs> yeah. I've only watched ten minutes of Oni. Um, what content? Like, what's a good series to get started on? Crash is always a good one. Um, their original stuff, the, the, like the Insane Trilogy is funny too, but I would watch the original series that they did with Crash. Uh, their Grand Theft Auto stuff is really funny. Like, Oh my god! Yes, the Grand want. Theft Auto series. Watch that. Fucking really Motifa. Funny. Fucking Motifa is one of my favorite bits they've ever done. Let me go look at his channel real quick and I can tell you what series I would recommend. Yes, for a miracle and you got Motifa, baby. It's so fucking good. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Alright, playlist. Um, let's see. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh, you could always just pick a game that you like and watch them play it. Um, but I would say watch Crash Bandicoot for sure. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Um, 
because it's just full of so much gold. You can also watch them play Dark Souls, but yeah, I mean, that's up to you. Uh, there's some funny moments, but you can kind of tell that uh, Julian's not super into Dark Souls. Like he's into it as far as like the setting goes, but I think Julian's more into like cartoony shit. Mm -hmm. So, OK, so I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do there. Uh, now we're fighting another machine made Yardovich. Oh, Sonic Adventure is really good. Uh, definitely watch them play Sonic Adventure. That shit's super fucking funny. And, uh, <laughs> Wild Woody. Oh my god, Wild Woody's so good. Fucking Wild Woody, god damn. Yeah, I would say Crash Bandicoot and Sonic Adventure are really good places to start. Rugrats is also really good. You can't exactly go wrong with his channel. Mm -hmm. Like everything they make is at least passable. Oh, I There's just went on autopilot and I picked something I shouldn't have. Oops. Oh well, whatever. Oh look at this tip tap toe and ninja over here. Look at him. He's literally called ninja. The fuck? <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Twitch is using his stream account to show porn. Watch out, Ninja. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is up with that, by the way? I don't fucking know why they're using his channel. That that's that's got to go against some rules of some sort. I mean, I'd say terms of service, but it's Twitch. They have their own terms of service. <laughs> Yeah, but like... Oh, um, fuck. I forgot about you. Fucking Cloaker. What the fuck? You just fell into a And hole? Domino. Cloaker and Domino. I th I think maybe this was the difficult fight I was thinking of. Oh, fuck. Is this like a secret fight or what? No, it's not secret. This is required. Oh, uh, okay. They look cool, though. I like them. Yeah, they're definitely out there. They remind me a lot of Nights into Dreams enemies. How those enemies would look. I never actually got a chance to play that game. I did it's, not have a... It's a weird one. It's it's good, it's just weird. I never had a Dreamcast growing up. Well, that's too bad because Nights into Dreams was Sega Saturn. Oh, well I never had a Saturn either. But yeah. Okay, so the one on the left seems to be weak to magic attacks, and the right one seems to have some resistances. So I'm thinking physical attack is going to work much better with the one on the right. So let's go ahead and test that. Mm -hmm. Survey says, yeah, he's pretty vulnerable to it. That makes sense. One's physical, one's magic. Oh, yeah. So all the kids are going back to school this week. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's true. My boss said she went to go get a haircut and she forgot that um, school was starting soon. <laughs> so she felt so fucking dumb. Oh, uh, fuck. Because look at my look at them go. They're charging up towards them. Holy shit. <laughs> Put your dukes up. Oh, no, he's in a snake. Oh shit, dude. He's merged with a snake. Holy shit, that did so much damage! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Holy shit! Wow! I'm going to stop you! <laughs> yeah, if he just so happens to hit Mario again, you're fucked. Well, this isn't like the Paper Mario games, where if Mario dies, like, that's it. Oh, yeah, well, Mario's now dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy, know, time to go. Like come Mario back. would die, so yeah. It's all right, I can just bring him back with the star. Bring him back. Yep. Bring him back. He's back. <laughs> bring him back here, or so help me. Ooh. 
Look at him up there. He's like, yeah, he's really good. He's fucking mad. Yeah, his mouth is moving at a thousand miles per hour. Yep. Damn, he this this fucking snake has it out for Mario. Jesus, he does not like him. No, he does not like him. No siree. He's like Mario. You are a big stupid. I'm gonna give you the big carny kiss. Carny kiss. That's what it's called. Carny kiss. You get kissed by a carny. <laughs> oh fuck, that's not good. <laughs> Those people have been around, if you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. They travel by train. They've been all over the country. <laughs> Holy shit. Jacob. Mm-hmm. What if you woke up and this was on the edge of your bed right here? This snake was just on the edge of your bed and it was breathing at you like... <gasps> I'd fucking scream. <laughs> I would Make scream. Noise. What if when you screamed, it screamed? <laughs> like to answer back. Yeah, you were just like, ah, and it went, ah! <laughs> and then when you stop screaming, it stops screaming. Mm -hmm. And then I shoot it with a poison dart and it turns out to be the Sonic trailer again. Wait, what? I'm not explaining myself. <laughs> I have no idea what the <laughs> fuck you're trying to say. Nothing. The Sonic trailer? Yeah, the Sonic movie trailer. You shoot it with a poison dart? Did I say poison? I meant sleep dart. Tranquilizer. Oh, okay. Okay, listen. that makes more sense now. Well, my, <laughs> I was listen, like, what does a poison dart have to do with Sonic? Listen, my brain don't work so good, alright? My brain don't brain so brain. My brain don't function. <laughs> my brain is inaccurate. It's a Production is on schedule. Uh oh, you're starting to get to the part of the factory where things are getting finished. Yeah. We're almost there, dudes. Is there a part of the game where they look everybody? Fight? It's yellow like shovel night. Sorry, what? go on. It's yellow shovel uh -oh. night. Look at him. Oh, uh, you were He's saying. Not yellow. He's green. Anyway, you were saying. He's, he's Halo Master Chief Green. I was going to say, what if they had a boss fight in this where you just had to fight like all the bosses in a row, all the old bosses in a row? I'd fucking wipe the floor with them. <laughs> you just pick them up and start wiping the floor. Be like, there yeah. you It's all clean now. What if they all fused together into one giant boss, and it was just like this grotesque-looking monster? Um... I'd be disgusted. <laughs> and the cake was the head. Oh, fuck. Not the cake. Anything but the cake. And it was just like... Blah, 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 blah. Like, it didn't talk coherently. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, right before you kill it, it asks you not to. And it's upset. Would you do it? I'm sorry. I I completely zoned out. What were you talking about? I said, what if I gave you five million dollars, but then you didn't answer, so I'm not going to give you any money now. Bullshit, Grandpa. You didn't say that. Listen. All right, I am now. Fucking elders, you bitch. <laughs> Elder by three years. You said, Grandpa. Yeah. You fuck. The future is now, old man. You cisgendered fuck. Fucking, where did that come from? I don't know. It just sounded funny to say. Okay. It was funny. I'll, sl I'll slap your tit. And then you'll take a shit. <laughs> yeah. What do you think this switch does? <laughs> oh, nothing's happening. Oh, fuck. Oh no, the character I don't use in my party is going to be taken away from me. What? Yeah, oh god, poor Mallow, man. <laughs> oh boy, that was spooky. 
Mario! Oh fuck, it's a toad! How the fuck did you get here, toad? I finally made it up here. Let me help you. What if Toad gave you his load? Well, I mean, he's about to because this is our final item shop. We can buy anything we need for the fight ahead. Was that written to the code? Yep. So if Toad's you need mid mushrooms, max mushrooms, maple syrups, pick me up. So you got them right here. And that's all I can carry, so there we are. We are at the end of this hoop of scotch. Oh, and he gave me a rock candy. I can't carry it, though, so sorry. I'm going to have to yeet your rock candy. <laughs> Here, Mario. <laughs> Thanks. Throw them <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Bing. <laughs> Flick like, it away uh... like a discarded booger. <laughs> When you see your hero and you give him something you made for him. <laughs> Thanks. Aww. Throws away. How would you feel if you went up to like your favorite YouTuber and you handed him something you handcrafted and he was just like, thanks. And then he threw it in the garbage. I would be upset. <laughs> and I <laughs> would, would you never. I would. would you follow them? Uh, yeah, I probably would actually. Uh, that actually- Oh, I never told you about this. That kind of happened to me. Oh? Um, when I was really into the Smash Bros. community, there was a player I liked a lot. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Oh, fuck. Now I, we have Shovel Knight. Sorry, carry on. I went to my first major tournament ever. And, like, all the big players were there. And a couple players from out of the country were there. And uh, I go up to one of these players that I've never got to see in person and um, he played Pikachu. And at the time I had a 3DS with Pikachu on it. And I was like, oh, it'd be perfect if I got him to sign it because that'd be really cool. And I was like, hey, will, will you sign my 3DS? I was like, you, uh, no, I shouted out his name. I was like, I was like. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to say his name. Hey, E. Sam. And he turned around. And he was like, yeah. And then he saw huh. that it was me who said it. And he was like, no, he just said no. I didn't ask him for anything. I didn't say what why I was getting his attention. He just said no and then walked away. What an asshole. Yeah. What the fuck? It was like the rudest fucking shit. And I felt like such an idiot in the moment. Like, hindsight. No, don't feel he, like an idiot. No, no, Fuck no, no. no. Uh, in, in hindsight, he was just being an asshole. And I shouldn't have felt bad about it. But in the moment, I was like, what the hell? I was like, did I do something wrong? But yeah. What an asshole. Like, it made me feel awkward because I was just standing in the middle of a fucking crowd after calling out his name. And he just says no. And then walks away. And I'm just like. What the fuck? So, needless to say, I don't fucking follow him anymore. <laughs> because, like, he's just an asshole. But I, um, it, it's not all bad. I found another player that I really, really liked. And, uh, I kind of told him about it. <laughs> so, like, it was kind of funny what he did. Uh, I was like, yeah, I was originally going to have Esam sign this, um, but he was kind of an asshole about it. And he was like, oh, yeah. So he takes the marker and he writes his name on the 3DS like really big. <laughs> nice. So like there would be no room for Esam's name if I ever asked him again. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah. That guy uh, is still really cool. I, I still think he's a really cool fucking um, player. Sam? But yeah. Huh? Are you talking about East Sam or the other guy? No, no, the the, the other player. Oh, um okay. Larry Lur is his name. He's really cool. Uh he plays Fox. I don't know who he plays now because I haven't been staying up to date. I think he plays Falco in the new game. I'm not sure. I'd have to I, I need to get back into watching some tournaments. I probably will never watch it as much as I used to. But it would still be fun to catch up and see how um, all those players are doing now. 
The Smash community is honestly really cool because due to the fact that a, a majority of their tournaments, like a vast majority of their tournaments aren't sanctioned by Nintendo, it's all community ran. Um, so it's like the quintessential example of uh, grassroots movements in the video game um, communities. Because they have some really big um, video game trends. The fact that like they're even at Evo is surprising because for many years they went to Evo without being sanctioned by Nintendo. And like almost every other game at Evo is sanctioned by the people who made that game. Or at least like uh maybe sanctions not the right word but you know overseen like, by sponsored by yeah, re recognized sponsored or like they, they at least have representatives there mm -hmm. like showing off you know new content or something like that but nintendo's always been kind of like against it for whatever reason i don't know i guess they didn't want to be caught up in the competitive scene but i think nintendo's starting to ease up to it now that they're seeing like how huge things like League of Legends and Fortnite is getting. They're starting to ease up to the idea that, you know, esports is happening. There's no stopping it. So they might as well just get involved. And the more they're involved, the more they can kind of regulate the way their games are represented. Because right now, uh, if, if a private company runs a tournament, and or a private group runs a tournament and like there's cussing and uh, vulgarity on their um recordings that's all up to them but if nintendo says oh we'll sponsor it um this tournament but um you have to you know try to be as pg as possible mm -hmm. like then you know that the, they have a little more control over how their games are represented and I, I think Nintendo's starting to realize that that's probably going to be an important next step. So ho hopefully we'll see a little bit more of that. And you see some of the games they're making nowadays, like as where arms is not a really good competitive game. Um, it definitely felt like they were trying to make it a competitive game. And then you got games like Splatoon, which don't even really have a single player to talk about at least not in the first one i don't think i don't think the first game had a single player mode um and then the second one Splatoon, does. it did have a single player mode yes it did oh well yeah. then it's probably not anything better than the second game mm, um no not from what i've seen <laughs> all the enjoyment that comes from splatoon seems to be online modes yeah, it is. And mostly being the competitive mode that they have. Um, but yeah. So it'd be cool to see where Nintendo goes from now on. Ugh. So this is the second to final boss. This. Yeah, this thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what you call that, like a forge. Yeah, that that I guess that's what you can call it. Looks like a big smelting machine. Yeah, smelt. Yeah, smelter. Yeah. It's called gun yolk, so I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Maybe it's just a lava tank. <laughs> Perhaps. I mean, you can see the lava being animated, and like he like pops mm -hmm. up occasionally. Mm -hmm. It does look kind of like a tank. I don't know what that sound was, and you might have just heard it, but that was really Yes, loud. I did. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Alright, well, Gun Yolk is done. That was barely much of a trouble. We came from the living room, it was just like... Blah, bling. Was oh, is that what that was? Fuck. Okay. Yeah, the production line like hasn't were... halted. Loading up something on the TV. I don't know. All right, we are here. We are at the final boss. Oh, this must shit, be where Smithy son. makes his weapons to find the last star piece and stop the factory. We've got to defeat him first, Mario. There's no turning back now. Are you ready? 
Our quest is almost over. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. Let's get this show on the road. As soon as I save. What if Mario was like all rough and like he had a gruff voice? He was like, "We have to save Peach." <laughs> from I'm right here, Mario. Peach, just stay right there. I'll come get you. And but Luigi still sounding the same. Mario! <laughs> what the fuck? Mario, what the fuck? Mario, put down the cigarettes. <laughs> you don't want to end up with a storm, do ya? <sighs> no, Luigi's the only way I can take the edge off. <laughs> oh my god. Here we are. <laughs> this is Smithy. Where's my spaghettios? <laughs> Where's my spaghetti? Really? Yeah, I'm a spaghetti right, Here we are, though. This is Smithy. He's got an amazing yeah. beard and mustache combo. So, well, yeah, it seems to be Smithy that's making all of the weapons. Why don't you just hit him in his face? I will. As soon as he stops yapping. He really likes red jello, though. Look at that. Yeah, he has his own dispenser. When you were a kid, did you ever, like, imagine living in your own house and having, like, a water fountain that, like, shoots out your favorite drinks? No, I can't say I have. What? I thought that was, like, a thing everyone dreamed about. No, like, I, I have not had that dream. Sorry. Like, you, you, you wake up and you go over to your water fountain and it's just, like, high C, fruit punch. Or, like, Gatorade or, or no, fucking sorry. soda or something. I don't know. Sorry, no. Well, now you're dreaming about it, right? Mm, yes. Go to sleep, hats. dream about it, wake back up and... <laughs> dream, dream, dream! <laughs> <laughs> so, we have both Smithy that we can hit and the Smelter. If we go for the Smelter, uh, we'll stop all the ads from showing up. If we just bum rush Smithy, no. Smithy, though, who gives a fuck? Dude, that sequence in the movie was so fucked because, like, who the fuck falls to sleep while a guy is doing backflips around the room? Dream, know, dream, man. dream, 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 dream. It's like, dude, I would fucking fall asleep and go and have a dream if you would stop backflipping over my bed, <laughs> you little asshole. Frost says that I'd have a regular water fountain. <laughs> Makes sense. Nice. Oh fuck, it's sword rain. Shit. And sledge, ouch. Mm. Mm. I like how his eyes like jiggle around. What the fuck? You know what he reminds me of a little bit? Um, he kind of reminds me of something you expect to see in one of those, like, stop-motion Christmas, um, movies. Oh, yeah! He kind of does, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, can I see would it. imagine that he could be, like, one of the bad guys. Like, he, I, he I, creates... Yeah, I can see that. He creates bad toys, and he sends them to children's houses to make them hate Santa Claus. <laughs> It's the next did great you, movie, dude. Did you write for those shows? <laughs> Basically. Oh god, oh. sword rain? Yeah, sword rain. Right. Great. I love it. I love it. We should mod this game. And the only mod is that every time that thing shoots out the red goo, it just sounds like a fucking turd. Amazing. It's just like Dude, have you ever, like, had straight-up, like, liquid shits? Yes. Where it feels like you're pissing out of your asshole? It's the Welcome worst, to RetroTech Comms, everyone. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> Jacob, we gotta loosen you up. You're a little too high-strung, my friend. No. We need to talk about assholes and poop and piss. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, because that is the pinnacle of commentary right there. Oh, good. Sword yeah. Rain. 
I mean, it works for all the stuff that I like to watch. <laughs> Dude, you're telling me that you turn on a let's play and the guys start talking about how their assholes are burning from the enchiladas they ate the night before and you just click off that video? Perhaps. No, you listen. You listen to see what happens next. You're not my therapist. You can't tell me what I can and can't do. I'm not telling you what you can and can't do. As far as like giving you limitations, I'm telling you what you can and can't do based off of natural law. Like you just can't click off of that. Your curiosity peaks and you're like, what happened to this dude's asshole? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit, Look, meteor swarm. It's, it's a proven fact that we all care about other people's assholes. Yeah. It's, I suppose I, I suppose it's true. No! Sorry. Did you beat him? Yeah. Calm down, Timothy. Your head looks like a geyser. Get so worked up. Think of your blood pressure. <laughs> of course I had to make that fucking joke. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we just built this yesterday, and the foundation's very weak. So, stop shaking the floor! <laughs> Shake the floor some more. Yep, that's exactly what he's doing. All right, everybody. How in the heck? We're on the phase two, because of course the final boss has to have a phase two, and this is one of the harder fights in the game. Not gonna lie. <laughs> you have to fight him while falling. No. No. Oh. What if the whole time, like you're do, you're uh. You're falling. Oh, yours. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that face in the background. That looks like some fucking creepy pasta shit. Yeah. This is the cursed <laughs> Nintendo cartridge, dude. I turned on the Mario RPG game and the game scream at me. <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! There it is. All right. Whoa! What the fuck? Yeah. Smithy face oh. too. Smithy face too. Smithy face too. He's, he's ugly as fuck. Smithy face too. So Dude, he has the special ability of changing the shape of his head, right? His body oh. has his body has a certain amount of HP, and you have to defeat all four of his heads in order to win. He has a fuckload of health. So we're gonna be here for a good half hour. Not lying. Just hit him extra hard. That's what I'm gonna do. That's why I'm pulling out Peach's bombs. B -b bombs? Yeah. Uh. Oh, and he went tank mode. Yep. Wonderful. Thankfully, oh, thankfully, a lot of um, a lot of the stuff we have does decent damage. This head uh, technically has five modes. Five. Oh yeah, that's right. His normal mode. Oh boy, Magnum hurts. Oh, but he missed. Yay! That's always good. This boss is technically called Psychopath. Is it really? Huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I guess that's... What the hell? Oh, no, never mind. That's a move he has. Sorry. I'm wrong. He has a move called Psychopath. I looked at the wrong thing. So... If his head... Does his head change because you took down enough health, or what? It's whenever he decides to change. Oh. It's just, it's a complete crapshoot. And when you destroy one of the heads, does that head just not pop up again, or...? No, the head can pop up many times. However, if you drain all of that head's specific health, it's gone for the entire fight. Ooh. 
because I don't see an overall health. I just see their individual healths. Yeah, uh, his overall health is his individual healths added up. This fight takes a long time. So, okay, 16, 32, 41,000. Yep. That's a lot of health. Yep. Can't move. All right, the body has been incapacitated. <laughs> And now what I'm going to do is I am going to mute the ever-living fuck out of that. Because that head does devastating magic attack. Like sword rain. If I, my muting failed, unfortunately, but oh well. Are you allowed to mute him? I think so. Hmm. Geno Flash. Mm hmm. Always forever. Geno Slash. <laughs> Geno gets in a car. Geno Crash. <laughs> no, Geno. You'll never make it a Smash Brothers like that. <laughs> Geno for Smash. What if you woke up one day, and you turned on your Nintendo Switch, and you turned on the Nintendo Smash Brothers for the Switch, and then Gino was there, but he was only a trophy. I take it. <laughs> no, I would. I mean... At least there'd be some. At least there'd be some reference to him. I'm happy that Gino's one of the icons, so that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Of course, it'd, it'd be really nice if they went all the way with it, you know, and made him a character in, in the roster. But I mean, honestly, I'll take what I can get. Why do you think people specifically want Gino so bad? Because he's cool. I mean, his one of his moves is this. I mean, look at this. It's cool. He turns into a cannon and causes fucking Armageddon. It's great. Yeah, I don't even know what his move list would be. Um, it'd be cool is what it is. <laughs> I mean, like, he's got a little arm cannon thing. I guess that yeah. would be like his neutral B kind of like Mega Man. Yeah, I'd play like Mega Man or Samus. Got a gun for a hand. Uh, probably be like Gino. It'd probably be Gino Boost, or he could probably do like um, Gino Beam and like blast his beam downward to propel him upwards. I kind of like those type of moves in Smash, where like your um, recovery move doubles as like a uh, overhead attack. Like, mm -hmm. if somebody's below you, it can attack them. Those ones are pretty cool. Yeah. I was kind of, like, happy, but also upset when they announced that they were reintroducing Pokemon Trainer. Um, Simply because it's, like, awesome Pokemon Trainer's back. But, like, not awesome because I really enjoyed playing Charizard. Um, as an individual character and because of the fact that Pokemon Trainer is back the way Pokemon Trainer works is you press down B to switch between the different Pokemon and you can still choose to play as just Charizard though can't you mm, you can pick Pokemon Trainer and switch to Charizard and not switch over to the other ones oh he's not just a separate thing anymore oh no I didn't know that I don't play Charizard so yeah. I didn't know that Oh, yeah, I mean, the only reason it's upsetting is because, like, um, they had to remove one of his abilities because they had to have the whole down B thing where you switch Pokemon. So, I don't remember if... I think it's Flare Blitz that they removed. I don't think they removed Rock Smash. I think they removed Flare Blitz. Rock Smash is a side B, if I remember correctly. Yeah, in, um, 4 on the wii u version uh rock smash was down b and uh, side b was a uh, flare blitz 
I like Flare Blitz. Um, of course, you know, people who aren't used to Charizard don't like Flare Blitz because they think it's cheap. Um, Flare Blitz is actually not that great of a move uh, because if you shield it, you can just get a free hit on them because if it hits a shield, it uh, it stops right there and Charizard takes forever to recover afterwards. But if it hits you, it does a shitload of damage and knockback. So of course, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing and you just keep getting hit by Flare Blitz, you're gonna think it's a cheap move. Mm. Cause it's one of those moves that hits really hard, but isn't supposed to be Shit. easy to land. I fucked that up. But I like Charizard, he's fun. But I need to play more of the new Smash game. Uh, they got rid of Rock Smash. I would have to check. I hear Pokemon Trainer's pretty good in general, but I'm pretty sure Charizard's not the reason Pokemon Trainer's good. From what I've seen, most people switch between. Uh, uh, oh, that's Ivysaur right. That's right. His side B is that uh, that that fire charge thing that he does. That's right. Yeah, that's Flare Blitz. Yeah, I forgot that was his side B. I said that his side B was Rock Smash. If they got rid of his down B, I think that was Rock Smash. Rock Smash um, was his side B in Brawl. So I thought that I guess I just assumed that they redid that. I haven't played Pokemon Trainer. I don't think I will play Pokemon Trainer. Um. But it's nice that Pokemon Trainer is actually a decent character in the game. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Oh, Mainly Spear Rain. Fuck, this is a new attack. Ivysaur is really good. Hmm. What's your favorite character to play? My favorite character to play? I like Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario. I hope they add Crash Bandicoot to the game. That'd be an interesting people say, choice. People are like, oh, it's not likely to happen. I'm like, dude, fucking Crash Bandicoot's on the Switch for one. Two, they put Banjo-Kazooie in the game, so I don't see why they can't do Crash. Mm -hmm. Um... The only thing that might be holding it back is like. No, I can't think of anything that's holding it back because no, it's his, like Crash Bandicoot's not a Sony character. He, he's already on the Switch. So it's Activision. No, yeah, and Naughty Dog Activision. It's I don't see any problem with that. No, it's not Naughty Dog at all. It's just Activision. Naughty Dog doesn't have the rights to them anymore. No, they completely sold the rights to Activision. <laughs> That sucks. I do be oh. like that sometimes. Yeah. It is what it is. I think. Shit. I think he'd be a lot of fun, though. Um, I think it'd be an interesting character. Because I think that they would find interesting ways to implement his. Uh. his uh like crates oh like, yeah i even pictured like or they could bring in the wumpa blaster oh the bazooka thing yeah yeah they'd probably do that um they could also add stuff from the other games like twin sanity um but i don't I you know I don't know how people would really react. I don't know how many people like Twin Sanity. Twin Sanity is an odd one. But yeah, I was like thinking like, uh, what is up? B might be. And of course, the simple thought is like, oh, maybe he could just. I don't know, s spin really fast and like zoom his way back up. But I was thinking that what he could do is you know um he just 
like uh, a crate pops up under him and he uses that to get an extra jump. Yeah, that would do. <laughs> His final smash is he just drops 200 crates on you. <laughs> <laughs> Rain of crates. <laughs> yeah. Still love Captain Falcon. Uh, Falcon moving on. Captain Falcon. Yeah. Captain Falcon. <laughs> Captain Falcon. <laughs> Captain Falcon. Falcon. <laughs> no, uh, Captain Falcon's all right. I'm pretty sure you can get away with playing him. I'm pretty sure he's like mid tier. Mid tier is fine. It's only once you start getting into low tier when you might want to consider either playing another character or having a secondary character to make up for your character's flaws. There's always that too. You could just have a secondary character that makes up for your bad matchups. What does Rock Candy that. even do? Oh fuck, it casts... <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, we're using Rock Candies. I'm just gonna eat all of my Rock Candies. Who gives a fuck? Oh my god, what the hell just happened? Just says 200 damage. What the fuck? Holy what? <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Look away from the screen when that happens. <laughs> Holy crap. I wasn't ready. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can find a decent tier list. Um, where does this place Captain Falcon? Let's find him. There's so many fucking characters in this game. Um, where is your boy? Am I just blind? Where is he? There he is. No, he's B tier. That's not bad. You know what? I'm at the final boss anyway. I'm just gonna use all of my Caro Caro Colas. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's the final boss. Let's splurge. Drink all 200 elixirs. Go on. Have at. Have at, you crazy mage. I've seen people win with, like, Richter and Simon, and Richter and Simon are considered worse characters than Captain Falcon on these tier lists. So, I'm sure Captain Falcon is not that bad. You might want to look up his matchups, though, and figure out where his uh, weaknesses lie. I'm gonna make Sonic is so fucking low on this tier list, though. Well, he's not super low, it's just he's a lot lower than I expected. Pichu is one of the best characters in the game. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, oh. not over Peach, at least. Peach is super good in this game. God, look seen. away from the screen. Jesus Christ. What the fuck is that attack? Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my. Frost, He's if, if you... Oh, if you want to play nervous. some Smash in a little bit, I'll definitely play you. Oh, and he's doing the thing again. No, I definitely understand Peach would be an S tier. I just didn't think Peach would be higher than Peach. I mean, uh, uh, Peach would be higher than Peach. I was considering buying Hero until I looked into just how bad he is, and uh, as much as I want to play Hero because of how much I love Dragon Quest, it's just I, I wouldn't feel good about winning with him. It'd feel kind of cheap. I hope they nerf him. 
because I really like the character. There's got to be like a weird statement to say for most people listening. <laughs> like, what? If you like a character, why would you want the character nerfed? Oh. Whatever. It's like because it doesn't feel fun to just kill things on accident. <laughs> Uh, playing heavies is definitely a different type of uh, game, Frost. Um, you have to play very slow, and you have to be advantageous as opposed to trying to pressure your opponent. Sometimes you have to pressure your opponent, but you have to be really good with spacing and stuff like that. Um, heavies are really good at being comboed. Um, their starting frames are slow, so you have to... Yes! You, Smith, you he's really dead. Try it. Oh, shit. We have won. That's it. That is the end of Super Mario RPG. He said, Gwa! <laughs> no! His eyes are so fucking weird, dude. Yeah. They weird me out. Yep. Well, yeah, like he's it. dead, so you'd never have to look at him again. And there it is. The last star piece. Come on, there Mario. Send the last one way up high. And just kick it. Yep. What if Mario put it in his pocket and he said, No thanks. <laughs> and he goes on. Oh, this one's yellow. I like this. Watch, is Mario going to start flying with the star? Probably. It's going to do that. <laughs> Sound, you know. Oh, no, he's... He's sending it way up high. The one where they do that? What? The... <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No idea what the fuck you're talking it's about. When it, I, it's either when he gets a star or a shine in one of the games. It makes this like really a weird noise. It, like does this little jingle. Oh, the one in Sunshine is like... Yeah, yeah, it's probably that one then. It says shine get. <laughs> shine get. That's the Japanese. Yeah. Yep. I I don't have any more dialogue to touch, so I'm gonna put the controller down. That's it, everybody. Super Mario RPG is complete. Well, not complete, but you know what I mean. It's complete as I can be. Well, unless people vote right this second. Then we're playing um, Zelda Ocarina of Time next. Oh, is that the next game? All right, cool. All right. It's got the most. So hopes. we're jumping the gun a little bit, but the next game I will be streaming here on Retro Tech Coms, Twitch.tv slash Retro Tech Coms, is The Legend of Zelda <laughs> Ocarina of Time. Yes. It's yeah. a good game. And I'm going to be playing it through the Look game. Look at Mario's face. He looks so concerned. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be playing Ocarina of Time through the GameCube version. I could play it through my Nintendo 64, but let's face it, the GameCube version is a lot cleaner, it runs a lot better, it mm -hmm. looks a lot better, so we're going to play the GameCube version. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Just don't play the 3DS version. As, as you can tell, I like to opt to play on, like... I, I like to... Fucking I like to play on like actual hardware, as you can see, like cartridge and whatnot. So yeah. I like to play on hardware, but leverage on hardware. But I mean, fucking GameCube version's the best one to get. So we're gonna. Do I mean, that. there's nothing wrong with that. Like, see, me personally. Um, oh fuck, Exor got the Thanos. I'm sorry. Go on. If I can find like a uh, digital copy of an old game, like on a modern console, I'll just do it that way because it's the easiest way to capture. Mm -hmm. um, so I was thinking when you guys come over and we do Let's Plays, we might do Sonic Adventure. And if we do, we're probably going to do it on my PS3 because I can grab it for four bucks. Yeah. Okay. Gonna be a hell of a lot easier than trying to go through the headache of figuring out how to set up a uh, a GameCube or something like that for it. 
Um, one thing you could do is you could play it through the PC. Um, one thing that's really nice about the PC version is you can get mods for it. And there is a oh, that's right. Yeah, um, uh, I didn't, the uh, PC I, version I didn't, of Sonic Adventure is based on the DX port, which was on GameCube. Um, mm. There are mods to to bring the light rendering back to what it used to look like on the Dreamcast, and also replace the textures back to Dreamcast textures. Um, now, what I mean by that is there were, for the DX port, there were some textures that were just outright changed. Like to something completely different for like no reason. Um, so there are mods to do that. There are mods to restore a lot of what the game used to be. It's really nice. Um, Sonic Adventure is definitely worth getting on PC. There are mods to fix camera issues and whatnot, fix resolution it's issues. It's right here on Steam. Oh, yeah. um, eight bucks. Oh, wait, there's a thing called the Dreamcast Collection. What's this? Uh, probably not buy this, though. Never mind. It's got bass fishing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Mm. I already own Jet Set Radio. So oh, look, see, remember from the beginning of the stream, I said that Valentina became interested in Booster. Well, there you go. And Dodo became a priest. So, yeah. Happy endings Dota. all around. Yeah, Dodo. Defense of the Ancient? No, no, no. Dodo. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Thank you. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm going to see what... One I thing that I like do have Sonic to... Reg pack. One thing that I do have to regret about this is I did not feed the Yoshi cookies to um, the young Yoshi on Yoster Island, so we didn't get to see mm -hmm. Fat Yoshi. Oh, fuck. Sorry, dude. You messed up, dude. Hey, look, it's Luigi. He's leading the parade. Oh, look dude, I could straight up just get Sonic CD. Oh, <gasps> what? Yeah. Dude, that's a good game. Chica, that's All right. Game. It is. So, my final thoughts about Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Still a classic. I still love going back to playing. I loved going back to play this game. I am super happy that I have grown more competent in my. I've grown more competent in how I play games that I was actually able to defeat Kulex, which is really, really nice. I'm really pleased about that. I'm absolutely, as the Brits would say, chuffed to bits. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck, what? Is Sonic Lost World? This looks Sonic horrible. It's not. Sonic Lost World was a uh, it was a mediocre game on the Wii U. Um, it's I I, I hate making like comparisons. Board style thing. I hate making comparisons like this, but it was it's like it's like if Sonic decided to borrow a little bit from Super Mario Galaxy's philosophy of level design, and it's fine. It's a perfectly adequate game. The art style doesn't better. bother me, actually. I kind of like this cartoony art style. The only thing I don't like is, wh what's up with this game board thing? Is that the overworld? Oh, yeah, that's that's just the... Uh, if you're talking about the thing that looks like hexagonal game board with a bunch of dots on it, mm -hmm. yeah, that's just, the, that's just the hub world where you select the levels. So, I remember enjoying this personally i don't know if other people did was was sonic 3d blast considered a good game hell no 3d blast <laughs> I sucks i enjoyed it when i was a kid 3d blast fucking sucks I'd that said i have it, it on sega genesis i loved it for some reason I still want to play Sonic Forces. I never got around to it the reason why it sucks is because it's isometric and it's awkward yeah, I guess I was just a kid and I just liked Sonic, <laughs> so I was gonna play whatever I had available to me for Sonic. Hey, sometimes it do be like that. I remember being really uh, jealous of my cousin because he did have a Dreamcast. Um, oh, hey, I was I was the smart one who bought into the PS2 instead, <laughs> but he got a Dreamcast and he uh. got Sega. I mean, and he got Sonic. Um, obviously you got Sega. 
He got a Sonic. He got Sonic Adventure, and I was upset because I wanted Sonic Adventure, but at the same time, like I got literally everything on fucking PS2, so I'm not too salty. Okay. PS2 is still by far probably, I would say, the PS2, Super Nintendo, and um. If you okay, if you had the PS2, the Super Nintendo, and the PS3, you would have so many fucking video games that you would never run out of things to play. Mm-hmm. Like those game libraries are so fucking huge. Yeah, they really <laughs> the DS are. Too. DS was also another one, um, because with a DS you get DS and um, Game Boy Advance. I never completely understood the whole hardware thing of like the DS can play Game Boy Advance, but it can't play Game Boy games. That has to do with the uh, connector inside. Um, just the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP, the card slots were designed to be able to read both Game Boy Advance. They were designed to read Game Boy Advance, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color. Well, they changed to the Game Boy Micro and the DS. They took out the... They fundamentally changed how the cartridge physically like goes in. So it could still yeah. accept Game Boy Advance, but it can't accept uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Hmm. Well, if that's it for the game, um, what do you have planned for the rest of the night? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll think of something. Right now, we're just basking in the moment of the camera slowly tilting upwards as we get some nice fireworks. Yeah. What if one of the fireworks, like, it never exploded and it just fell on the castle? It blew and it then up. It caught on fire. <laughs> what if Gino's little star spirit was flying around and got fucking sniped by a firework? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> if Gino, ooh, ooh, oh, there he is. There Gino, there, there Gino he water. is. Hello, Gino. I'll see you next time in the Game Boy version of Superstar Saga, and then we'll never see you again. Ah, rest in peace. There he goes. We The if, uh, end. If Gino was added in Smash, I would assume that they'd probably do something like one of his taunts is probably going to be like uh, where his spirit like, leaves the doll. Yeah, and the doll like drops, and then the star like jumps around, and then gets back into the doll. Yeah, that'd be cute. All right, there we are. That's the end of Super Mario RPG. And the beginning of and the beginning of well, I don't know. I didn't really expect to be finished by eleven ten p.m., but alas, here we are. Well, this is awkward. I don't really have anything else planned for the night. Um, Yeet game is complete. That's true. It is. And this is one of those games that once you're on the, the end screen, you just have to shut the console off. There's no saving afterwards. Oh. Yeah. Yep. That was me with uh, all the Final Fantasy games back in the day. I was just like, I will just beat the last boss. I'm not turning my console off ever. <laughs> Of yeah. course, eventually you have to. Of course. I remember the very first time I ever beat a Final Fantasy game, I was so proud that I actually took a disposable camera and took a picture of my like CRT TV. Oh. Yeah, Do you still have that, have that picture? Oh, god damn it, man. I don't keep anything from my childhood, sadly. Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool if I did, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day I'll just have to have my mom pull out like what, wherever she's keeping all the fucking old photos and I'll just have to go through them and see if I can find anything relevant. 
Mm. Some okay. video game pictures or something. Like maybe there's a picture of when I got my first Game Boy or something. It's actually kind of um, interesting. Uh, I didn't get my first Game Boy for my birthday or for Christmas. I got my first Game Boy on Easter. <laughs> oh, okay. A bit random, but all so right. That's different. That is a bit different. Um, that's right. what... Um, that's like a tradition my parents have always kind of done for us when we were kids. Um, we would get one gift on Easter. I don't know why, but that was just a little tradition we had. And one Easter, I got a Game Boy with Pokemon. Okay. And it was the really cool see-through purple Game Boy, which I don't have anymore. <laughs> okay. I don't fucking have anything. It sucks. All right, so that's the end of Super Mario RPG. Um, I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. I got an amulet. Yes. May happiness follow you wherever you go. All right, enough is enough. Cancel the rehearsal. We're going on with the show. Here's the password. Egg. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's one hell of a password there, Boost.